students today we have to read an extract taken from the autobiography of Nelson Mandela a long walk to freedom students before we start the first we need to know is the word apartheid what does the word apartheid means because mean as Nelson Mandela worked for his whole life for so actually students apartheid is a political system that separates people according to their race so actually it is a racism that separates people on the ground of race that whether you are black or white and according to that many discrimination or positives you know bear there in south africa and that is what actually known as apartheid and against what Nelson Mandela actually fought for all his life and the and that and he actually wrote one of his autobiography also a long walk to freedom that is what we are we are going to read here in this chapter and we will see how he actually tried to you know remove this apartheid from his country diminish this apartheid apartheid system from his country Let's start the chapter now. For first, um, um, read the first paragraph, and then I will explain to you. We will read the story paragraph. This is not the story. This is uh, taken from the autobiography. This is an adaptation from the autobiography of the uh, Nelson Mandela's uh, autobiography. Long walk to freedom. It means it took long, so long, to reach the freedom, to reach the South African freedom. Here in the first paragraph of the story, a student, you know, Nelson Mandela is writing that tenth may dawn bright and clear. Tenth may dawn bright and clear means to say that the word dawn. Focus on the word dawn. You know, it means actually the morning. You know, when the sun rose. So actually, the 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 morning light, the day was very bright and clear. For the past few days, I had been pleasantly besieged by dignitaries. The word besieged means you know surrounded by. And dignitaries are what dignitaries are important VIP persons because of their post and the important post that they hold in the high offices that that they they are considered as dignitaries and world leaders who were coming to play their respects before the inauguration and. What inauguration this is? We will read in next paragraph. The inauguration would be the largest gathering ever of international leaders on South African soil. What inauguration, students? We are talking here is actually the inauguration that we are talking here is. This inauguration refers to the first democratic elections held in South Africa in 1994 actually. Students, in this story you were reading about apartheid. So the apartheid system in South Africa actually ended in 1990, you know. Before that, South Africa was isolated, isolated from international community for 24 years. And after that, the first democratic election took place in South Africa in 1994. and Nelson Mandela was was actually became the first elected president of South Africa in 1994 and this who this inauguration actually referring to that event when the first democratic elections took place and Nelson Mandela became the first president of South Africa as i told you inauguration means the opening ceremony so it was actually the inauguration of a new era in South Africa